Hi, welcome back to the third part of this Tahoe Rim Trail gear series. Today, I will be going over what electronics I brought on my through hike of the Tahoe Rim Trail. If you don't know, my name is Jennifer, or The Whimsical Woman, and I through hiked the Tahoe Rim Trail in August of 2020. The first video in the series went over my pack and my sleep system, and the second video went over the clothing and shoes and socks that I wore while hiking the trail. The links to those videos will be in the description below, but let's just jump right into it. I needed to charge my iPhone, GPS, and headlamp, so my favorite way to do that is with my anchor. This particular uh, brick is over 10,000 milliamps, so it would give about five to six full iPhone charges, but because I had my GPS and my headlamp to also charge, um, it would last me about a good five days um, on trail charging all of my um, equipment that I needed. This is kind of heavy, so I know that's one reason why some people don't like to carry these big ones, but there are smaller versions, but there are so many different brands and sizes, so you, you really have a lot of options. I like this particular one because you can charge two devices at one time with the two different USB cords. So yeah, just is really efficient for me, charges really fast, and it holds a lot of power. This next piece of equipment is something that I believe no hiker should skimp on, and that is some sort of GPS navigation and um, some ability to contact emergency services if needed. I like my Garmin InReach Explorer. This is the bigger version. Uh, when I bought this years ago, they didn't have the mini ones, but there are different sizes now that you can go buy. There are different brands, but this is my number one recommendation for gear for any hiker, any backpacker. This eliminates so much insecurity for me knowing that if there was an emergency with myself, or maybe some other hiker or person or animal that I had the ability to contact the necessary people. There is an SOS button on the side, or you can use it to contact family uh, via text messaging. This connects to my phone via Bluetooth, and so it was really easy to send messages every day um, to my family, letting them know that I was safe if I didn't have service. I've also used the map on it several times um, in case I've gotten lost or um, the trail and the maps on my phone weren't really meshing and so then I would use the map here to just confirm um, what my phone was saying or what my, my maps were saying or what my intuition was saying. It's just another means of um, making sure that you are safe on trail in so many ways. It came with a carabiner clip and I clipped this on one of the straps to the front of my pack so I could um, access it, you know, looking down kind of on my chest. Now the safest option is to clip this to your person. So you want to have this on your body, basically like your uh, maybe hip belt or something. And the whole point of that is, let's say you take your pack off or something happens and you need to remove your pack in an emergency, like you're getting stuck or something. You don't want your Garmin inReach, your safety measure to be going away with your pack. So that's why keeping it attached to yourself is the safest option. Like I just said, I kept it on my pack, but whenever I would take my pack off and I needed to go somewhere or was doing something, I unclipped it most of the time and I carried it with me. So um, I should probably get in better practice of clipping this on my persons because I'm gonna say it again, that is the safest way to carry this around but there are um, various options and places that you can have this. Just make sure that it is accessible and you can reach at any time in case of an emergency. I tried a new headlamp and I loved it. I'm like hearing all these noises. I have to get used to them again. I brought a Nightcore NU25 360 lumen rechargeable headlamp. No batteries, what, what? This headlamp was super bright and it's pretty light no batteries needed. As I said, it is rechargeable, so I did need to charge it with my Anchor power bank, but I only needed to charge it a couple times. It, it holds its charge pretty well, and yeah, I will use this again. Really, really like this. For my watch, I had a Freestyle Shark. I loved this little thing. It's super light and durable, but there is no recharging or changing of batteries required, so it gets a double thumbs up from me. Then I had my iPhone and charger, 
and I always make sure to have some protective case over my phone. I love the OtterBox cases. This is the one I used on trail and I still have it on. It's extremely durable and I have dropped my phone on the ground plenty of times. It's tumbled down a slight hill before so you just kind of want to make sure that your phone is completely protected and it's going to get really dirty and um, yeah, you just don't want to have any accidents with your phone out in the backcountry. I did carry a camera on trail because I took video and I you know, had to carry the extra battery so that added a little bit of weight to my pack. But the thing here that I absolutely loved was the camera clip. If you want to carry a camera when you are hiking, you need this camera clip. As you can see, the camera clip attaches to your pack strap and you can adjust where you want it so you can grab your camera at whatever angle is comfortable to you. It's extremely accessible and super easy to get on and off, but it's really sturdy and works for even pretty heavy cameras. I like to keep my gear as organized as possible, so I kept all of my electronics, the necessary batteries, and all of the chargers in one place, and I put them all in a Z-Pax stuff sack. And that is it for the electronics that I brought on trail. I hope this was helpful for you, and if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you at the next and last gear video of my Tahoe Rim Trail Through Hike series. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, <laughs> there's bees. Do you guys see? Oh, they're by you. Okay. She was dancing. I get stung, I hate getting stung. Is it following me? No. Get it! Get it! I gotta go.